Oh, hello there, and welcome to another episode of <laughs> News from the Gelding. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's been, I didn't do one last week, um, but I'm back with some paintings. As ever, there's timestamps down below if you want to cut straight to the paintings, but otherwise I'm going to bore you for around five minutes with my news, you know, all the crap stuff I get up to in my spare time. So, right, just had Easter break, um, so I had grand plans uh, to do lots of work. I actually did a fair bit, actually. Um, I've got no less than 11 paintings to show you, but only two of them are finished. The others are all work in progress, so I'll just rattle through them later. Um, I didn't get quite as much done. I My um, wrist entered a new level of pain. Um, I'm hoping it's a temporary um, aberration, but I understand that this is going to be a degenerative thing, so it will get worse. But I think for the time being, it's still manageable. Anyway, even when it isn't, I'm just going to get a piece of wood, stick it in my mouth and grimace whilst I'm painting. Um, I'm going to give each painting a pain rating in future, um, just in my diary, just to uh, see how things are going. Painting itself doesn't actually make it worse. If anything, the next day my wrist feels a bit better for doing it. Um, you know, when you have joint problems, it's good to keep moving the damn things. Anyway, there we are. John is slowly crumbling to death. Um, right, I did a couple of live streams. Um, thanks for those who attended. Um, James from the uh, uh, Game Zone Bird Room, um, my brother Mitch and his wife Holly, Maria, the Primrose Fairy, and Zolt. Cheers for all dropping by on that ale session. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Three hours? Was it three hours? I don't know. It's bloody yeah. It was a. Uh, it went back past in a heady haze of retro gaming music. Um, James, that um, Daytona song. We um, we went out for my sister's birthday for the Primrose Fairy's birthday, and um, my other sister Adele put on that. Um, what is it? Sky High, whatever it's called. She put it on for an hour on repeat, and we all. We almost went mad. None of us could get it out of our head the next day. Uh, I think Adele had it for two days. So we aren't going to be playing that for a while. Anyway, there we are. Thanks. Um, I'm going to do one of those live streams once a month or something like that. But whenever I've got like a period of time where I can uh, just uh, get off my tits. Okay, right. What else? Oh, yeah. Um, had a gaming session with my brothers. We all met up at my parents' place and played a bit of geeky board game. It was Gloomhaven this time. So we were vanquishing monsters left, right and centre and we were victorious. But it's an ongoing campaign. We're going to be doing this uh, once a month or so, uh, battling evil hordes in search of gold. Um, <laughs> we also had a bit of time to ourselves and uh, we were just playing in the garden like little boys <laughs> when we were young and my brother Barbarians. Kurt, the one who was pulling down his trousers earlier, if I'm showing the clip, uh, kicked the ball over into next doors and uh, had to go over there. Knocked on the door, they went in, he broke into their garden, <laughs> he didn't break in, just walked into the garden to get the ball and then they came back so he had to explain himself. Naughty boys! We were naughty boys. Then we, we also uh, went adventuring in real time. We went into a nearby forest and discovered some ruins, uh, an old tin mine uh, in the Cornish uh, uh, sense of the word. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that time. Lovely. Okay, let's get down to it. I'm going to try and make this as quickly as, uh, do it as quickly as possible. So these first ones, the ones I'm going to show you now, all the ones I haven't um, uh, finished. They're all works in progress. Actually, first of all, now I'll show you this one. So I'm going to pop up the, the uh, picture for this. So this painting I did um, about five or six years ago, I think, five years ago maybe. And um, my dad bought this one for me. Cheers, Dad. And um, But it got into disrepair. So it got quite dirty and water damaged. It wasn't their fault. I think the damage was done while it was at my old studio, my old place. <laughs> I say studio, it was a bed set, a one room uh, kitchen, dining room, fucking bedroom, and it uh, had a damn problem. So anyway, I had to reprime the sides uh, with uh, gesso, repainted the sides, nice blue, vivid blue popping. And um, I also added um, to the scene um, in the background some bunting, which I think um, was quite nice. 
pop of colour. Uh, and I think I was going to do that initially when I first painted it, but I never got around to it. Okay, right. So there was that one. Let's do all the um, works in progress. So with the, the old wrist uh, crippling around, um, I, I've just done some uh, lots of these kind of abstract ones. So I'm going to show these as they come. So that's one of the ways, as you probably know, regular viewers, I like to work from abstract and then use the abstraction to inform what goes over the top. That's what I'm doing at the moment. This one kind of looks like a kind of snowy mountainside. That's what I'm thinking. So I might stick a castle in this one. Maybe, maybe. I like those colors. Um, right, what's next? Oh, another abstract one here. Well, they're all gonna be abstract pretty much. This one's quite nice. I like these colors, this kind of vivid pink which is alizarin crimson. I've got some new paints, um, some Windsor & Newton ones. Um, made this nice pink and it goes really nicely with that phalo blue. Uh, so that's going to be nice. I, I think there may be a floating skull in that one, but I'm not sure yet. That's early days. Um, one more. So this one you probably won't see very well on the camera. Oh, it's okay. So it's kind of a star field. Let's see if it will zoom in on the... A little bit. Oh, bloody crap. Anyway, this painting went tits up, so I turned it into a space background. I was working on that for like an hour and a half and it just went to hell. Um, and it was just this muddy mess and I put stars over the top of it and it looked pretty nice. So that one, I might put a great big planet there, um, perhaps with rings or maybe the moon um, and a figure, perhaps. Who knows? It's a mystery at the moment. Okay, another abstract one. Um, these are the smaller canvases now, or canvai. I don't know if you call them that. Um, so this one, I don't know what the hell was going on here. I don't know which way up it goes or whatever. Let's not dwell on that one. I'm not sure I'm happy with that, but we'll see. Might turn it into something. Um, another one here, again, with that kind of pink and the uh, phalo blue. This one's a bit thicker applied. I like, I just love these shapes that just form randomly. So who knows what I'll be doing with that? Not sure, not sure at all. Okay, now the next ones are in the box of wonders. So yeah, I'm gonna rattle through these because they're all quite similar. Um, so this is another one similar kind of style. Um, yeah, you can't really see very well on this crap camera, but um, there's a nice kind of pinky haze mixed in with the blue and then this yellow, yellow bit of yellow ochre with some Naples yellow on the top. I'll probably do a, uh, a portrait on that one. This next one is a full on, just an abstract one. Quite enjoy doing this. And I like the way the blues work with these various reds and brown hues. This is all dry um, and I'm going to do a bit more um, detail over the top of that, but that's just going to be a pure abstract painting. My abstract paintings don't sell, to be fair, but I'm sure one day someone will buy one. Who knows? Yeah, I haven't sold one for over a month now. Times are bleak in the uh, painting with Jimmy studio, but who knows, it might pick up one day. Okay, this one is just a kind of a random uh, cloud kind of sky study. I say study, I just made the whole thing up. So I didn't have any reference to this. I was just playing with, again, I was using this, this alizarin crimson. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I think over the top of this one, I'm gonna do a castle turret, you know, a single turret with a dragon cavorting about the side. That's the plan. Whether I do it or not, it's another matter. I've, do, I've done all of this and the fucking microphone's over there. I don't know if it's picking me up. Absolute twat. Yeah, is that better? I'm not going to re-record it, so I'm afraid you're going to have to deal with it, dear viewer. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this last one from the Box of Wonders. So this is a I don't know what it is. It looks a bit like a forest on fire. So that's why I added all these trees, um, the trunks um, beneath the blaze. This will be used as a background for a portrait, I think. 
some nice colors in this um, it's very hard to see on the uh, on the old camera but when when it's finished I'll, I'll photograph it properly and you'll see the colors um, there's one I finished which I'll show you last of all this one here on my big easel is a work in progress and it's as wet as a fish so I've got to be very careful here okay this is a um, kind of a portrait um, so as you can see the hair hasn't been applied so this painting I'll try and pop up some um, uh, pictures so I'll put that there and I'll put them over there so this started out with this background uh, it's like a green background first of all then I did this random kind of um, balls over the top which took about two hours and I just didn't like it afterwards so I've just I I used the those kind of shapes to do these giant giant kind of versions kind of stacked up behind her and then put this lemon yellow in behind I don't know if the colors will stay as they are her hair still shows the original background of green that's going to be black obviously or, or like a, a light brown perhaps um, and I might do some other detail over the top of that it's quite an interesting one I, I'm, I'm I'm quite excited about it, by it, uh, how it is at the moment. I'm going to build on it. I don't know how it's going to turn out in the end. But that's one of the things I like about painting, not really knowing where, where something's going to go. OK, the last one is a finished one and titty alert. OK, so there are some exposed breasts here. So if you don't want to look, please go away. <laughs> Sorry. OK, here we are. So you may remember this background from the previous one I showed. So I did this abstract painting and I thought oh, I'll put something over the top of that. And she sits there quite nicely. So I've kind of recessed her within that structure and she's resting her elbow on it. So I think that works quite nicely. Um, again, you may not be able to see from this. Uh, I'll try and get a bit close and get him getting the breasts in too much there. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, Christ, we all have them. Even men, just very small ones. Um, yeah, I like the way that the, the abstract background um, I, uh, shows through the skin. So it's like she's part of the background. I've just realized that just showing those uh, breasts there is going to make um, YouTube ban that video or, or at least put a, an 18 certificate on it. Isn't it crazy? Um, so I don't know what to do. Have I wasted my whole time here? I think I have, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I'll try and I'll put a black thing over it and try and blank out the tits. I mean, what can you do? It's art for God's sake. Um, anyway, let's leave it there. Um, what I will do uh, at the end is I'm going to have a little bit of a boogie uh, to a nice song. Um, you can join me or not. <laughs> or you can just stop it uh, after this. Just thought I'd have a boogie. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to chair dance. Um, right. Okay. Let's end it there. Um, say goodbye to Percival. Let's have a jolly good boogie. Mm. He's ready for a boogie. Um, and I'll say goodbye as well. But uh, I'm going to have a bit of a vape and a bit of a boogie. Cheers for watching. See you next time. Whew. What a shambles. Um, right, let's get this on.